Hey guys, welcome back to Hugs and Honey. Um, so tonight I have my daughter with me, which is super exciting because she really does not like to be with me on these types of things. But tonight she is agreeing to be with me, but she doesn't want to be on camera, which is totally fine. Um, and we're gonna do our spirit animal cards, okay? So this is what we're gonna do today. And she is at the moment shuffling the deck. And so we will, and she's doing it very carefully, one by one, so that we get every single card uh, sort of juiced up with her energy, with her intuition, um, and it'll be really exciting to see what we choose tonight for her. Um, she is about to turn 12. She will turn 12 in, nine I guess, days. nine days. Well, yeah, I guess we're the 31st, so like nine or 10 days on June 9th. Um, and um, she was born on 6909, which, so we've got the number nine and the number six working with us. These are sort of auspicious numbers for us. Uh, auspicious means like good luck numbers. Um, and so she is carefully going through every card. She's not looking at them, but she is touching every single one, which is wonderful. Um, and I don't know if I've talked to you too much about my daughter. <laughs> She's giving me the rolling of the eyes. I'm sure you guys know that, but I adore her. I think she's my bestie. Have I ever told you that? She's grimacing, but it's true. She's my bestie. She just, she's so amazing. And if you've ever seen um, me present, let me think, have I presented any of the food that she makes? Because she's basically a chef. And so I feel very lucky. Are you going through the cards again? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? I'm bored. <laughs> You're bored. Yeah. Am I taking too much time, no, like preparing it's the it's set, the scene for you? All right, get up, get ready, let's do it. All yeah, right, yeah, yeah. so. I have to reel her back in because she's continuing to go through Now she's touched every card twice, or at least when she's done, she will have touched every card twice. Oh, I wish I could show you her, but the fact that she's here just makes me happy. Um, so we will pull a card. What is your intention? Like, what do you want the card? What, like, why do, why are we pulling the card for you right now? Why not? Like, why not? So that's a good a good explanation or a good response but like in this card when we pull this card what would you like to learn from this card i don't know would you like it to be sort of just like an inspirational message for you right now like what do you need sure. to pay attention to or what do you need to know um that's usually what we try to focus on here at hugs and honey um with the cards so like what do we need to know? What's important for us to become aware of right now? Oh, now she's really spreading them out. Now we've like <laughs> lost all control. Here, let's not flip them. Now we've lost all control of like organization. They're no longer in a deck. Now they're not, they're all kind of like scattered about, which is totally fine, baby. Okay, so why don't we scatter them about? Let's Here. push them around. I'm so I'm just gonna show the Please. cards themselves. You're not gonna be seen. Don't worry, I'm just showing the cards themselves. Okay, so there are the cards. And, okay, baby. Why don't you kind of mix them up, close your eyes. Let's not let Sorry. them. Okay. okay, so let's mix them up, close your eyes, and then just choose a card. And this card is what she needs to be aware of right now. And what is it? Dragonfly spirit. Dragonfly. <laughs> <laughs> and she laughs at me. <laughs> okay. Truth transcends illusion. What is an illusion? What is an illusion? It's Can like you a vision. It's like a vision. But like not, isn't it like not real? Like not, yeah. not real, yeah. Yeah, like it's not real, like it's like an it illusion. Like it seems some, not seems something and isn't, is it? I don't yeah. Think. Yeah. So when a dragonfly tells you that truth transcends illusion, look at the number. 22, yeah. 
We got number 22 here, people. 2-2. Two, two. That is double 1-1, one, one, right? Which is 11-11. 11-11. 11 plus 11 is 22. It was um, weird today. I saw at my friend's house. There, they had a clock that was just wrong, but I looked over and it was 11 11. And then I saw it turn 11 12. And it was weird because it was at like 6 30. Interesting. But, but yeah. yet you still saw it. it. It doesn't even matter if it's accurate. Yeah. Right? Like the fact that you're seeing it, that's the message, right? Those are the angels talking. Those, that is the message. Okay, so Dragonfly is talking to us right now and it's saying, Truth transcends illusion. And this is where I think that you are exceptional. So my daughter's exceptional. She's an unbelievably intuitive human. And she can cut through the BS, unlike most people I know. Like she is like a professional um, truth finder. Don't pick up another Sorry. one. Sorry. We're only choosing one right now. Okay. Um, and so when we talk about truth transcends illusion, so we're saying truth transcends. What does the word transcend mean? Isn't it like, blah, 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 transcends. I want to say like, just because the word trans makes me feel like transition, but it's not tran like sort of transition, but like from one thing to another almost. Right, right. So truth transcends, in this case, transcending means like it supersedes, like it's above illusion. Mm -hmm. So that means that the truth is more important. When it transcends something, it is greater than, mm -hmm. it is bigger than, it has evolved from an illusion, from something that we think might be into a fact, mm -hmm. right? And so the dragonfly is showing us that um, the truth is more important than the idea of the truth. For me, this is showing up, this shows up a lot actually, because I frequently, and specifically in the last week, I frequently give people the benefit of the doubt I believe in people's ability to transform their lives, to transform themselves. And um, I might see their potential before they do, before they see their own potential. And sometimes um, they don't even know that they have this potential. And so it's an illusion to them. And for me, it's an illusion because I believe in something that's not actually there, right? I believe that they can do something, that they can become someone that they really aren't. And so the truth of the matter is that they're this person that is, is not able to rise above and to evolve in the way that I believe they can. And they can, but they don't know how to. They can't do it. So for you, baby, how does this show up? If we're talking about the truth of something overcomes, it's more important than the idea, than this fantasy of it. Does that show up for you somewhere that you can think of? Not that I can think of. Like, sometimes it happens like um, when we order clothes online. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we have this illusion, we have this idea of how these clothes are going to look on us and how, and how we want them to look on us, right? Mm -hmm. And then they arrive and are like, oh, that green is a lot greener than we <laughs> thought it was, right? Or it's a little bit tighter or it doesn't look as good as I thought it would. And so it's like that truth of like it not looking quite as good. But that's just false advertising. That no, one. it's not false advertising. They're not advertising it. Nothing that they said was false. It's just on your own body, the, the reality, the truth of the matter is that it doesn't look as good as the idea, the illusion, the fantasy of how you wanted it to look. 
Probably because they're all models anyway. Probably because they're all <laughs> models and we're ordering from another country that <laughs> those models are, they have different body styles and body types than we have, right? Mm -hmm. Because we are curvy and we are not little, we're not sticks, we're, we're curvy, right? Right, Mother so, Goose. Right, Mother Goose. So anyways, I think that's one way. So how could you utilize the energy of 22, the energy of um, Dragonfly Spirit to help you in your life? How can you, how, what could Dragonfly bring to your life right now as a sixth grader, soon to be seventh grader? I know, what was that? What was that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we have weird noises happening in the kitchen. It's like a little like click. I know. So is there any way that you could think that Dragonfly could help you or? <laughs> um, I don't know. It's like donkey. Yes, donkey. Um, yeah, sure. read we about love it. donkey. And then I can. Oh, you want to read about it? Okay. Lately, late, yeah, you can. But lately, I haven't been doing the reading. But let's read about it. You're like, show me, tell me the reading. Okay. Dragonfly spirit is here to remind you of the wisdom and truth available at all times in the hidden realms. Just as Dragonfly catches your eye with its reflective wings and body, Dragonfly Spirit appears to tell you to pay attention to the truth beyond the illusion and recognize the insights that come seemingly out of no, excuse me, I have hiccups all of a sudden, seemingly out of nowhere, peeking through from behind the veil. In the realm of spirit, there is far more let me turn the page, <laughs> wisdom, <laughs> then you can perceive with your senses. And there is a deep knowing that you are not separate or alone, for a higher power recognizes you and loves you beyond measure. So a higher power plus your mama loves you beyond measure. Fears dissipate as you realize you are embraced by the nurturing force that is everywhere, always in communication with you. Aligning when you are preoccupied, Dragonfly Spirit offers this message. You exist in unity with all, including the protective spirits who are there to share their wisdom, and you are being nudged along the path your soul needs to travel and to have the experiences it craves. Love, love exists in many forms. It's interesting that it's talking about love since we were going to do the love, love journey cards and we decided not to. It's interesting that it's going back to love. And sometimes we overlook it when we don't recognize a particular form. Pay attention to the signs now. They remind you that each of us have an inspired dream seamlessly sewn into the fabric of the invisible world. So we talk a lot about dreams we haven't really gotten into dreams yet guys one day we might get into dreams and in traveling in your dreams just remember go out through your tummy and come back through your tummy and only go to light filled places that make you feel good i know it sounds a little weird we can talk more about it but just know that okay out through your tummy back through your tummy only going to light filled places that make you feel good um there's a great consciousness that exists in the seemingly empty spaces, guiding us on our journey. Open to the truth, letting wisdom of the hidden realms inform you, providing insights your conscious mind overlooks. Did you really think this world of the senses is all there is? From the hidden mystical realm, signs are being sent to you, but perhaps, and you, you, my daughter is incredibly intuitive, which is why she's my bestie. Um, she's amazingly intuitive and I'm sure so are you guys. So, uh, the challenge is to learn how your intuition speaks to you. How do you receive information from your intuition? We all have intuition. We all have this little voice inside us that guides us and tells us where to go. Um, and it's up to us to pay attention to it, to learn about it and to learn how to, 
uh, translate it and read what it's saying to us. So um, let me let me see here. From the hidden mystical realm, signs are being sent to you, but perhaps you perceive separation and convince yourself that you are on your own. Have you fallen into spiritual amnesia and forgotten your connection to a living, loving, always supportive universe? I hope not because you have a mother who is <laughs> always telling you, I'm alive and you're alive and I love you and I support you. If so, rub the sleep out of your eyes. Just rub it out. For the dragonfly spirit is here to remind you of all the love and support available to you in every moment. There is an organizing principle underlying the events you have experienced and dragonfly spirit can help you see it and trust that spirit has your back. Let go of the illusion of chaos and randomness. Love is here. So follow the signs that appear serendipitously, which means like accidentally or like magically. Um, as you pay attention to the magic all around you, you will know you are on the right track. So give me that card one more time. Here we go. Dragonfly Spirit. This is here for all of us today. My daughter chose the card today. This is really for her, but I think we can all benefit from recognizing and realizing that um, the truth is really what we need to be paying attention to. And sometimes it disguises itself as something else. It can be hard to see, but once we see it, that is it. And we don't need to search any further. Number 22 can be a lucky number. Even the number two can be a lucky number for you this week. And keep an eye out for dragonflies. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope you enjoyed the energy of my daughter here, even though you can't see her. I really appreciated it. Thank you, my darling. And I see you, I hear you, I'm here for you, and I love you. See you tomorrow. Bye.